Hey, hello, this is Derek from Creative Knots. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Nebula Space Design Kit. Uh, this comes with 60 layer styles and patterns. There's also raw files as well, in case you want to work with Illustrator. And let's just get to it. First things first, we want to make sure that we get the styles and patterns installed. So what I do is I go to Window, and then I go to Styles. And then from here you're going to click the Hamburger icon menu. Um, and then you're going to go and click on load styles. When you click on load styles, you need to navigate to where you unzip the file from and you need to install the .asl file for styles. For patterns, the easiest way to install it for me is I go to the paint bucket tool and then I make sure that it's not on foreground and that it's on pattern. And then I click here and then I go to the gear icon menu and then I click load patterns. And again, what you want to do here is you want to navigate and locate the patterns from the uh, zip file. Once you do that, you just double click on it and it will load it here. And you can also replace them too in case you have a bunch of them there. Now, let's just kind of get started. I'll show you a couple easy ways to get started. Uh, you can simply, if you want to just click and get an idea of what the effects look like, you can use the styles palette over here and as you can see there's a bunch of them that you can choose from all right that one's pretty cool and what I do is I just kind of toy around with it a little bit find out you know what's gonna look good I can also uh, do a little bit of a uh, color replacement as well all right let's uh See if we can get something a little there we go all right and then for the border I'll do the same thing and you just want to toy around with it a little bit you know whatever's gonna work best for what you're doing you know that's the main thing here so let's get that one to be So that's pretty much in a nutshell how, how you can work with it with the styles. Um, now for patterns and things like that, I'm going to use this little t-shirt mock-up. And the easiest thing to do here is I would create a new layer and I would fill it. And then what I would do is rather than I could just go ahead and use the paint bucket tool, right? Whoops, sorry. I could use the paint bucket tool. But that's not going to give me the flexibility of changing the pattern on the fly. So what I want to do is I want to right click on the layer. Now I want to go to blending options. From here, I'm going to simply click on pattern overlay. Let's make sure that we change, change the blend mode. Reset the default. And then from here, the patterns you're going to, are already going to be loaded and they're going to show up right here. So here, this gives us the ability to kind of just go through the patterns and find one that looks, you know, that's going to suit our needs. And I would hit save and I would go back. And then as you can see right here, it would add that pattern to the design that I'm working on. And then one thing I want to make note too is if you end up changing the scale, you have to keep this in mind. You can't go above 100. If you go above 100, it's going to get blurry. You see that? Now, you can't go 90 either because that's going to leave it blurry or 80, 75. Oops, sorry. So what you have to keep in mind if you don't want the results to come out blurry is it can only be, the scale can only be 100, 50, 25, 10, 5, 2, or 1. So just keep that in mind. And here, everything is seamless. So we can literally just drag it around. Let's see if we can get another one in here. Let's see what this one looks like. Hit save. And then I would go back and look at that. I've got a t-shirt design that has the um, pattern already applied to it. There's a ton of different ways that you can use this. Let's see if we can find another one. See what it would look like on that. We would go back and there it would be. It would be right there waiting. Let's just do one more. Have a little fun here. This one's very cool. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, that looks awesome. So you can see that's really the easiest ways to work with this product. You just want to make sure that you can find a pattern that's going to suit your needs. You know, let's say you wanted to maybe change the color a little bit or something like that. What you could do is you could basically 
do a color overlay and then you could change the entire color if that's what you fancy Let's see what this would look like go back and let's see we could you could even change the pattern again and as you can see that would change the color of everything now you may want to go well I don't want to really just change all the colors what I would do is I would duplicate the layer and then have a static one there and then I would go to image adjustment and then I would go to hue and saturation or you can add a hue and saturation uh, adjustment for everything and as you can see you could essentially change the hue and saturation to the, ent the entire uh, canvas here and I, I could just hit save and it would be right there we could even change the pattern now that we have the hue and saturation in place and we could change it for any of these let's see let's pick let's let's just pick one sorry I know that's a little loud let's pick one here now remember we have the hue and saturation in place so now if I go back here you know I can adjust saturation so it's not so much in your face maybe I want to give it a little bit more of a darker look I could adjust the lightness hit save go back and it would be right there and you could just remove that if you wanted to get an idea so there you go I want to thank you for uh, checking this product out and uh, we'll talk at you later bye